Hi guys! In this video, I will show you how to use the variable product option when creating digital product services or online course products. This is very useful if you have several plans for your online course such as course only option, course and group coaching, course and one-on-one -on -one coaching options. Or if you have several plans or packages for your services. For example, if you provide Facebook ad services, you can say service only, then service plus Facebook ad spend charges. This way, your customers can pick the option that best suits them. With this feature, you do not need to create several products for all of your course or service plans for one course or service. You can do that with just one product and one link. Please note, you can create variable product options for every product type on seller, except subscription and membership products. The goal here is to give your customers an option to choose from your available packages or plans for your online course or service. In this example, I'll be showing you how to create variable options for your service product. So to create this, you need to create a product and you can just do that by clicking on the add button on the screen or you go to the hamburger icon and to the left, go to products, click on add product. And because we are creating a service product, I will just select service. And now we'll go ahead to add the image and the name of this product. Now, next thing you want to do is to put in the product price. So if you've set it up on your store to manually add the price in other currencies, you would see them all here. So for my store, I've set it up to manually add the price in Naira and in USD. If you don't know how to do this, please check out the video where we talk extensively on how to set up your seller store. So I'll just put the price of this service, I would say 25000 if you'd like to show a price slash on your product, go ahead and select this option that says show striped out original price. This is a good way to show that your product is discounted, right? So you can click that and then you put in the original price and when you create the product, this price here will be striped out and to show that the product is discounted. However, for this video, I'll just uncheck this option and just go to the description section. So here you can do a lot of things in this section, you can use different headers, you can make your text bold, italic, you can underline, even embed links to your text, you can add images, even embed YouTube video by just getting the YouTube URL and putting that here, click on save. There are a lot of things you can do in this description section, you can just play around with all of the options and see what you come up with, so I'll just keep this really simple. Now underneath the product description, you'll see the option that says this product has multiple variants like different tires, packages, add-ons, sizes, or colors, right? So you want to check this option if you have several packages or plans for your service or online course. However, if your product doesn't have any variation, you can leave this option as it is and go ahead to create your product. But for this video, I will check this option. Now, once you do this, the option add variants would pop up and what you want to do is to click on that. After clicking on that, a bunch of options will open up like this. And the first thing you want to do is to name your variant accordingly. So for this video, we'll work with the first variant and we'll call it select your plan. So what you want to do is to change this option that says variant 1 to select your plan. Now if you look to the right of this option, you would see a bunch of other options. So the first thing you want to do is to tell if this variant, this is select plan variant, is actually a required option for checkout that is your customer need to select one out of the options in order to check out if you check this option then they have to select a plan to be able to continue to complete checkout but if you uncheck the option then they can complete checkout without selecting a plan for this video i will check this option because i want my customers to select a plan before they check out now the next in front of this option is to tell whether this variant affects the price. That is, is there an additional price for selecting a different plan? For instance, does it cost more if your customer selects service only plan or service and workshop plan? If yes, then you want to check this option. So let's say the plan does affect the price. So we are going to check this option that says this variant affects the price. So what you want to do next is to add the options under this variant. So remember, the variant here is select the plan. So what are the plans that you want your customers to select from? So for this video, we are going to use two options. The first plan is going to be service only. 
and now remember because we check the option that says this variant affects the price you want to add the extra charges it costs to get a particular plan if there are no extra charges to any plan just leave it at zero as it is like this so you can see here that prices set here will be added to the product price on checkout so when a customer is buying the product, whatever price you say here is added to the default product price and totaled on checkout. Remember that when we're creating this product, the product price is 25,000 Naira. If the service only charge is actually 25,000 so you want to leave this as it is. So you just put in the option service only. So there is no additional charge. That means service only is the same price as the product price, which is 25,000 Naira. So now what you want to do is to proceed to add another option. So click on another option. The second option we can say service and workshop. So now let's say the service and workshop package actually costs 30,000 Naira. So instead of typing in 30,000 as the additional price, what you want to do is to type in 5,000, which is the additional price. And this will be added to the original price of 25,000 we've set as a product price to sum up the 30,000, which is the cost for service and workshop plan. So once you set this up, what you can do, you can add as many options as you would like, right? So if you have more options, then you can click on add another option and add that here. So now, if plans is not the only variant for this product, you can add more variant by going through this process again, right? So now let's say time frame is another variant you like to add to your product. That is how long does your customer want the service delivered? So if it's express work, for instance, you might want to charge more or set this option to better know the time frame to work with, right? So let's say that is another variant for your product. What you want to do is to click on add variants. Now once you click on that, you see the variant two here. So you want to edit this to what you call it. So we'll call this time frame, select time frame. And again, if this is a required option for checkout, you want to check these options. I want to check this. If this variant affects the price, you want to also check this, right? So let's assume this variant does not affect the price. So you want to leave this option that says this variant affects the price on check. So let's just assume this variant does not affect the price. Then you come here to put in the options, right? So we can say um, five to seven days. And now you can see the additional price option here locked. You cannot edit it because we did not select the option that says this variant affects the price. So you can add another option, maybe 30 days. So once you're satisfied with all of this, you can close this now. You're satisfied. If you want to add more variants, you can add more variants, add the options under that, and just go on. What you want to do is to make sure you select the right product type, select the category, uh, say service. And you can go ahead to create your product. If you would like to redirect customers to a URL after a purchase, let's say to your WhatsApp with a customized message or to a Telegram group or private Facebook group, they want to check this option that says automatically redirect the buyer to an external URL after a purchase. So once you check that, you'll be able to put in the URL here. That's maybe your WhatsApp URL. Or Facebook group URL, Telegram group URL. However, if you don't want to redirect them after a purchase to anywhere, then you have to uncheck this option and go ahead to create the product. So let's create this product. So now that we've created the product, let's try to buy the product and see how this works. So this is the product link. I'll just click on that and try to buy the product. So this is the product that we created. So if you look at the product, and the price here is 25,000. This is because the service only option is selected. So if I select um, service and workshop, you see it's showing me that there's an additional 5,000 Naira charges that will be added. Once I select that, the price changes to 30,000 Naira. And I can select the time frame, either five to seven days or 30 days. Now, because while we are creating this product, it's stated that the time frame does not affect the price. So when we select either 30 days or five to seven days, the price remains the same. The only thing that affects the price here is the plan. That's the select plan variant. So if we select service only 25,000, if we select service and workshop 30,000. And the customer can go ahead to buy this product after selecting the plan and the time frame. Remember, we check the option that says this is a required uh, action for checkout. So if they do not select any of these, they cannot actually proceed to check out. They must select 
one option to be able to buy this product so now this is how to create a service or host a course on seller using the variable product options